how to create video ads in Canva in minutes. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build ads in Canva. So let's get started. Now to get started with creating video ads on Canva, you can log on to Canva. And if you don't have an account already, you can sign up with your email address. Now, once you're signed in, you're going to see this, which is your Canva home section. Now, whenever you're building videos, there are a few different types of ads you might be creating. So if you click on the video section here, this allows you to see all the different amazing templates out there. But video ads are going to look different for different platforms. And even on a singular platform, you might be building one type of ad for people that are viewing in regular screens, for example, in landscape mode. And then you might want to build some ads that are going to be displayed in reels or in short form content. So this is where it gets tricky. You're going to click on custom size and you choose the size of your ad. Now, if you don't know what ideal size you should be creating, simply search for the type of ad you're looking to create. For example, I want to create an advertisement for my makeup products that is going to be displayed in Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to just search for Reels over here and this will show me the Instagram Reel sizing. I can click on this and this will actually show me all the different video templates that are available. This will give me an idea of how I can build my own ads. You can choose to get started from scratch or you can use one of the templates available for your own ease. I actually do recommend using one of the templates because there are so many different templates available that can help you in you know, optimizing your advertisements. So I am going to search for I think I'm going to go on to the filters on the top and we can even choose the type of filter we want, the colors, the topic and much more. And I'm just going to go with this one over here. I really like this. And if you click on a certain type of template, this will actually display similar templates for you. So you can see all the different templates available and you can see this one is really nice as well. This is super dynamic. This is also pretty nice. It is for another makeup line and I think I'm actually going to go with this one instead. And this is actually a free template. Anyone can use this. So we're going to click on customize this template to get started. And we're going to get started with building our ad using Canva. So the first step that I like to do is simply go into uploads on the leftmost panel. Once you go into uploads, you're going to click on upload files. And from here, just upload all of the content that you have. So whatever content that you have for your product, upload that. This makes it easier for you to later on include all the images. You don't have to you know, rush around and try to find the images. You have all the images in one space. Now, this particular ad, let's take a look at it. It's utilizing a lot of images, but you can utilize videos over here instead as well. I'm going to move this to the back and you can see on the bottom they even have some template music. We can change that to include our own music as well. And we're going to click on the first frame over here and in the background there's an image. I'm going to delete that and add my own image instead. So this is the image I want to include. Then we have two images and you will see this one is going to be customized and then it goes into so if I go from this it goes to this, it goes to this, like so. So we're going to go into this section and delete both the images. And I'm going to place this one here and then I'm going to resize this one. The reason why that this one is resized is because it appears later on. It's added as a transition. So save the date like this. And now I'm going to click on my second frame and reduce the time duration for this one simply because it's going to look a bit redundant. Now I have the save the date text on this and I'm going to click on this over here and we're going to make sure it's centered. My image actually isn't centered. And then once we do that, this is at the, this appears right over here. So I actually want to filter out the frame a little and this, this is a bit too short. So I'm going to extend the time frame to around one second. No. This again looks a bit off. This is going to go for 0.5 seconds for this one. And instead of one second, I'm going to go for 0.7. And now let's see, save the date. And yeah, now it looks good. 
But now I'm going to click on the text, click on animate, and I want to add some type of effect in this. And I want to add a nice effect in this. Wiggle. I think I like the pulse effect. And once I do that, I'm just going to view it. So it's save the date like this. And now I can choose my own images for every frame, like so. And we're just going to place our images and we can change the text by doing a double click. So it's going to be up to 70% off like this. And I can, you know, add it again, buy more, save more. And then I'm going to delete the background image and add one of my own. And then we can, you know, add our own images. I'm going to delete a couple of the frames at the bottom simply because I want my advertisement to be a bit shorter. I like this one, but I think this one is going to look a bit similar to the ones at the start. So I'm going to delete these ones, the dual ones and just keep the three image frame and delete all of the images. Then I'm just going to place the images. And once you place the images in the frame, just do a double click to reposition them. I want the faces of the models to be displayed like this. Once I do that, I'm going to change the date. So whatever date you want, you can add that here. Now, once we've done that, we can even add another frame. I'm gonna delete that. And we're going to just click on the music. Now, once you click on the music, you can see different music options. We're going to delete that. Instead, go into elements and I'll just search for makeup over here. Then if you scroll to the end, you actually see the section called audio and you can see different types of music available. So obviously, if you search for makeup, that's not going to be a certain niche. I am going to search for pop in audio. And then you can listen to the music that you want. So you can just listen to a couple of beats and then you can choose and sync that. You can sync it to the beats and you can sync everything like so. Save the date like this, like this. Once you've done that, click on share, click on download, and you can download this as an MP4 video ad for your brand. And that is how simply and easily you can create video ads using Canva. Not only that, but you can do so much more. So if you want to build your own ad from scratch and click on video and directly move towards the size that you want. So you can go in video. I want a standard video size. This is going to be like a full screen ad. And then on the left, you have different design options. You can actually just search for ads and you can see different types of ad templates as well, like this sale template, and you can customize the color schemes over here for your ads as well and you can choose to display ads in this way so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video